We took a water sample and added concentrated chlorine, urea, pesticides, and nitrate to it to see how well the AquaTrue performed under extreme conditions. We sent a before and after test to a certified lab to be analyzed, and the before sample was so toxic that they had to rerun it. So I think you're gonna wanna see how the AquaTrue performed because it definitely blew my mind. Before we get into the test results, we're joined by Tori who did the actual testing process. So Tori, what were some of the pros and cons or first impressions of the AquaTrue as you got into the setup process? Um, so I loved how easy the setup of it was. A really big pro for me is that I rent and so I don't have the option to drill into my countertop or make any permanent changes with the plumbing. And so the fact that this is on the countertop and requires no installation was a huge plus for me. And yeah, I'm loving it. So one of the advantages to this system is that the filters are actually NSF certified to standards 42, 53, and 58, which means it removes nasty contaminants like lead, VOCs, fluoride, and a lot more. But that also means that it removes healthy minerals. And we get a lot of comments on this when we discuss reverse osmosis. So what's your perspective as a nutritional therapist on that topic? Really the first priority needs to be that you're drinking clean water. Um, before you even start to think about like the mineral status in your water, we need to make sure that it is free from fluoride, fluoride, fluoramines, all the things that you were mentioning. And what actually even is in water mineral wise is such a small percentage that um, it would be more worth your while to utilize a remineralization filter um, to add those minerals back into the water. So this system is super high efficiency. It has an 80% efficiency ratio, whereas traditional systems might use four gallons of water just to get one gallon of purified water. So it's a huge difference. What were your findings as you set up and actually used the system with the amount of water uh, consumed? There's only a tiny bit left in, in the tank after it filters through the water, um, definitely less than a gallon. So I feel good that I'm not wasting a ton of water every time I'm, I'm using this. One of the other things that I love about this system is how quiet it is. It's running right now. I don't know if you can even hear it. I can hear it actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. It's so quiet. You can see the display. It tells you what stage it's working on in the filtration process. And it takes less than 15 minutes to filter the water through. So you're not even really waiting that long for your water to be cleaned. That's pretty quick to purify that much water in 15 minutes. And one of the other little perks of this design is that the, the water storage tank actually pops off so you can use it like a pitcher. It absolutely is. It just pops right off and you can put it in the fridge to keep your water cold. So it is super convenient to put on and off. I love it. Okay, so after you got through the setup process, Tori, was there anything that you didn't particularly like about the AquaTrue or some things that could be improved upon? Really, the only negative thing is that if it's sitting back on your counter against the wall, um, the spigot that that the water comes out of once it's cleaned through the system um, doesn't allow for much space for a cup. So I can fill up a cup underneath the spigot um, and that's about like the tallest I can slide underneath there. So I can't fill up a water bottle unless I'm pulling it to the edge of my counter or removing this and filling it up that way. Um, but really, that's it. Everything else about it is really easy to set up, to clean, to use throughout the week. It's just the cup size that um, has, uh, you have to have to be a little more mindful of it. All right, now let's talk about the exciting part of this, which is the actual test results. And Tori, do you wanna walk through kind of exactly how you went through the test uh, process? We took a big beaker of Arizona tap water and we added in 
concentrated forms of chlorine, urea, and an insecticide right into the Arizona tap water. And then we collected a sample of that unfiltered water. We then put the beaker full of dissolved chemicals through the RO system and then collected a sample of that once it had been filtered out. Okay, and we have the lab test results right here. So let's pull these up and start with the before test that had all of these chemicals added to it and is not filtered. And straight away, we can see that there are a ton of disinfection byproducts that were detected in here, which are a result of chlorinated water interacting with organic compounds in the water. And the most common one is actually THMs, which is trihalomethane. And you can see the levels of this are, I mean, they're off the charts. So these are even worse than chlorine and these are carcinogens. So side note, if you do want to test for these or you're concerned for them in your water, you need to make sure you get the right test that includes disinfection byproducts and volatile organic compounds because a lot of tests just include chlorine test strips or basic chlorine testing, which doesn't give the whole picture. So going down the list, some lead, which you don't want any lead in your drinking water. There is no safe amount for lead. The maximum contaminant level goal is zero, so we don't want any of that in our water. Lithium, not ideal also. Fluoride is, of course, added to municipal water supplies for its benefit for dental hygiene, but generally you don't want to ingest it. And then going down the list, we have some other heavy metals, um, and then nitrate, which is the result of the fertilizer we added. So this water test, I mean, this is the worst test I've ever seen by design. And now we want to see exactly how well the AquaTrue performs at cleaning this up. And here's the after test results from the AquaTrue that we ran the same water sample through to see how well it could perform. And it was actually extremely impressive because it was able to completely remove or significantly reduce everything that was added to the water sample. So you can see there's just trace amounts of some of those heavy metals that we were looking at. And then the fluoride is down to 0.1 ppm. And let me look with search for some of these like PHMs, this dihalomethanes disinfection byproducts are completely removed, lead completely removed, lithium also completely removed. So the super nasty contaminants that were very high in concentration are completely removed. And let me just jump into a spreadsheet I made so you can see side by side the before and after results. As you can see going across the board, the AquaTrue removed approximately 90 to 100% of all of the contaminants added in the water sample, which is pretty incredible. The first four here are the disinfection byproducts, which are 100% removed meaning 0% remaining here. Same with lead and lithium, 0% remaining. Fluoride, it removed 87%. And you can go down the list and see that it did an outstanding job with everything that was in the before sample. And I will include this spreadsheet and both the before and after test results in the description below if you want to dive deeper into the data for yourself. So we threw literally everything we could at this system and even the laboratory had to rerun the water sample because the water was so bad. So the fact that it performed this well was extremely impressive to me. Tori, what are your final thoughts on the AquaTrue? Yeah, overall, I'm so impressed with the system. It is so easy to set up, so easy to use. The filtration does what it says it does. I feel confident in using this and I would highly recommend this AquaTrue countertop RO system to anyone looking. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe and like button below. And if you want to watch more reverse osmosis videos, check them out right here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.